Chapter 7 Fractions Fractions Wow! What a yummy cake it is! Didi, I want to eat full cake. No, we need to distribute it among other children as well. You can have a fraction of this cake. Fraction? What is fraction? When a whole thing is divided into parts, each part represents a fraction. Let's study about some fractions. Look at this cake. It represents one whole. When we divide it into two equal parts, each part represents one half or one by two. When we divide it into three equal parts, each part represents one third or one by three. When we divide it into four equal parts, each part represents one fourth or one by four. Reading and writing fractions. Look at the given circle. Here, total parts is equal to five. Shaded parts is equal to two. So, two fifth part is shaded. Now, look at the given rectangle. Here, total parts is equal to eight. Shaded parts is equal to five. So, five eighth part is shaded. Numerator and denominator. Let us consider a fraction 2 by 3. In 2 by 3, the number 2 is called the numerator and 3 is called the denominator and 2 by 3 is read as 2 by 3 or 2 upon 3. Equal parts in collections. Let me divide the mangoes in 6 equal parts. I will eat only 1 by 6. Total mangoes is equal to 12. I will eat 1 by 6 of total mangoes. Therefore, 1 by 6 of 12 is equal to 1 by 6 multiplied by 12 is equal to 2 mangoes. Types of fractions Equivalent fractions Two fractions are said to be equivalent if the product of the numerator of the first and denominator of the second is equal to the product of the denominator of the first and the numerator of the second. For example, fractions 5 by 15 and 1 by 3 are equivalent fractions because 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15 and 15 multiplied by 1 is also equal to 15. Since the products are equal, therefore, 1 by 3 and 5 by 15 are equivalent fractions. Building equivalent fractions. To get equivalence of any given fraction, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by a common number other than 0 or 1. For example, find four equivalent fractions of 1 by 2. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 2, we get the new fraction as 2 by 4. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 3, we get the new fraction as 3 by 6. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 4 by 4, we get the new fraction as 4 by 8. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 5, we get the new fraction as 5 by 10. Hence, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, 4 by 8 and 5 by 10 are four equivalent fractions of 1 by 2. We can also get the equivalence of a fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common number. For example, find three equivalent fractions of 8 by 16. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 2, we get the new fraction as 4 by 8. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 4, we get the new fraction as 2 by 4. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 8, we get the new fraction as 1 by 4. Like and unlike fractions. To recognize a fraction as like or unlike, we just have to look at the denominator. Like fractions have the same denominators and unlike fractions have different denominators. 
Look at the fraction given below. In the given example, like fractions are 3 by 4, 4 by 4, 8 by 4, 9 by 4, 1 by 4 and 6 by 4. Changing unlike fractions to like fractions. We can change unlike fractions into like fractions by making the denominators same. For example, fractions 2 by 9 and 5 by 6 can be changed into like fractions by making the denominators same. To make the denominator same, we have to find a number which is divisible by both 9 and 6. Hence, we have to find the LCM of 9 and 6. LCM of 9 and 6 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 is equal to 18. 18 is the common denominator. Divide the LCM by denominator of the given fraction. Multiply the numerator by the corresponding quotient. 4 by 18 and 15 by 18 are the required like fractions. Proper and improper fractions. Proper fractions are less than one whole and improper fractions are more than one whole. Let us consider two fractions 8 by 10 and 8 by 5. In the first fraction 8 by 10, 8 is the numerator and 10 is the denominator and 8 is less than 10, that is, the numerator is less than the denominator. Such fractions are called proper fractions. In the second fraction, 8 is greater than 5, that is, numerator is greater than the denominator. Such fractions are called improper fractions. Unit fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is 1 is called unit fraction. Mixed fractions. A fraction which has a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. For example, 2, 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction in which 2 is the whole number or integral part and 3 by 4 is the fractional part. For example, write 37 by 5 as mixed number. Divide the numerator by denominator. Write the quotient as the whole number, remainder as the numerator, and the divisor as the denominator. So, 36 is divided by 5 is equal to 7, 2 by 5. Changing a mixed number into an improper fraction. Change 2, 3 by 4 into improper fraction. Multiply the whole number by the denominator. Add the numerator to the product and write as the numerator. Write the denominator as it is. So, the answer will be 11 by 4. Comparison of fractions Comparing like fractions Comparison of like fractions is very easy. In like fractions, the fraction having the greater numerator has a greater value. For example, 3 by 5 is less than 6 by 5. Because numerator 3 is smaller than 6. Comparing Unlike fractions. Comparison of unlike fractions can be done by changing unlike to like fractions. To understand comparison of unlike fractions, let us consider the following example. In maths, you have secured 28 by 30 and your friend has secured 25 by 30. Who has performed better? Indeed, it's you. But at the same time, in English, out of 25, you have secured 22. And in the other test, you have secured 18 out of 20. In which test did you perform better? Here we have to compare 22 by 25 and 18 by 20. To compare, we will change these fractions into like fractions. So, on multiplying the numerator and denominator of 22 divided by 25 by 4 and the numerator of 18 by 20 by 5, we get the new fractions as 88 by 100 and 90 by 100 respectively. Since 88 by 100 is less than 90 by 100, therefore you performed better in the second test. Comparing mixed fractions. Comparing a mixed fraction with an improper fraction. For example, comparing 2, 1 by 2 and 3 by 2, change the mixed fraction into improper fraction. 2 1 by 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 whole divided by 2 is equal to 5 by 2. 
Now, compare 5 by 2 and 3 by 2. Here, 5 is greater than 3. So, 5 by 2 is greater than 3 by 2 or 2, 1 by 2 is greater than 3 by 2. Comparing two mixed fractions. For example, compare 2, 2 by 3 and 1, 3 by 4. Here, the integral parts of 2, 2 by 3 and 1, 3 by 4 are 2 and 1 respectively and 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, 2, 2 by 3 is greater than 1, 3 by 4. Example 2. Which of these fractions is greater? 4, 2 by 7 or 4, 1 by 3? As both the integral parts are equal, we compare the fractional parts. Now comparing 2 by 7 and 1 by 3 by cross multiplication, we get 2 multiplied by 3 is smaller than 7 multiplied by 1 or 6 is smaller than 7. So, 4, 2 by 7 is smaller than 4, 1 by 3. Ordering of fractions. Ordering like fractions. For example, arrange 2 by 3, 4 by 3, 1 by 3 and 5 by 3 in ascending and descending order. As the given fractions are like fractions, compare the numerators. The numerators are 2, 4, 1 and 5 respectively and 1 is smaller than 2 which is smaller than 4 which is smaller than 5. Since the denominators are equal, the fraction with the greatest numerator is the greatest fraction. Now, write these fractions in ascending order. 1 by 3 is smaller than 2 by 3, which is smaller than 4 by 3, which is smaller than 5 by 3. Now, write these fractions in descending order. 5 by 3 is greater than 4 by 3, which is greater than 2 by 3, which is greater than 1 by 3. Ordering unlike fractions. For ordering fractions with equal numerators, the fraction with smaller denominator will be greater. Example 1. Arrange 1 by 6, 1 by 7, 1 by 3, 1 by 8, 1 by 10 in ascending and descending order. Ascending order. 1 by 10 is smaller than 1 by 8, which is smaller than 1 by 7, which is smaller than 1 by 6, which is smaller than 1 by 3. Descending order. 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 6, which is greater than 1 by 7, which is greater than 1 by 8, which is greater than 1 by 10. Example 2. Arrange 1 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 6 and 7 by 10 in ascending and descending order. Change the unlike fractions to like fractions by finding the LCM of the denominators, which are 4, 4, 6 and 10. LCM of 4, 6 and 10 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 is equal to 60. Change into like fractions. 60 divided by 4 multiplied by 1, 60 divided by 4 multiplied by 3, 60 divided by 6 multiplied by 1, 60 divided by 10 multiplied by 7 and whole divided by 60 is equal to 15 multiplied by 1, 15 multiplied by 3, 10 multiplied by 1, 6 multiplied by 7, whole divided by 60 is equal to 15 by 60, 45 by 60, 10 by 60 and 42 by 60. Here, 1 by 4 is equal to 15 by 60, 3 by 4 is equal to 45 by 60, 1 by 6 is equal to 10 by 60 and 7 by 10 is equal to 42 by 60. And 10 by 60 is smaller than 15 by 60 which is smaller than 42 by 60 which is smaller than 45 by 60. Arrange the fractions according to their values. Ascending order. 1 by 6 is smaller than 1 by 4 which is smaller than 7 by 10 which is smaller than 3 by 4. Descending order. 3 by 4 is greater than 7 by 10 which is greater than 1 by 4 which is greater than 1 by 6. Fractions in the simplest form or lowest term. We know that 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6 is equal to 8 by 12 is equal to 16 by 24 is equal to 32 by 48 are equivalent fractions and 2 by 3 is the simplest form or the lowest term of 32 by 48 because there is no number except 1 that divides 2 and 3 exactly. 
For example, reduce the fraction 8 by 12 to the lowest term. Method 1. The factors of numerator 8 is equal to 1, 2, 4, 8. The factors of denominator 12 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Common factors of 8 and 12 is equal to 1, 2, 4. Divide the fraction by the greatest common factor which is 4. So, divide 8 by 12 by 4 is equal to 2 by 3. Method 2. Prime factorization of the numerator 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2. Prime factorization of the denominator 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. Therefore, 8 divided by 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 by 2 into 2 into 3 is equal to 2 by 3. Addition of fractional numbers. Addition of like fractions. Sum of like fractions is equal to sum of numerators by common denominator. Let's try to find the sum of 8 by 13 and 15 by 13. 8 by 13 plus 15 by 13 is equal to sum of numerators of 8 by 13 and 15 by 13 whole divided by common denominator is equal to 8 plus 15 by 13 which is equal to 23 by 13 which is equal to 1 10 by 13. Addition of unlike fractions. To add unlike fractions, we change them into like fractions. Change the unlike fractions into like fractions by finding out the LCM of the denominators. Add the new numerators and write it as resulting numerator. Write the LCM as the denominator. If the answer is an improper fraction, change it into mixed fraction. The process of finding the sum of unlike fractions is as follows. Sum is equal to LCM divided by denominator of first fraction multiplied by numerator of first fraction plus LCM divided by denominator of second fraction multiplied by numerator of second fraction whole divided by LCM of denominators. Example 1. Add 3 by 5 and 7 by 8. LCM of 5 by 8 is 40. So, 3 multiplied by 8 whole divided by 5 multiplied by 8 is equal to 24 by 40 and 7 multiplied by 5 whole divided by 8 multiplied by 5 is equal to 35 by 40. Therefore, 24 by 40 plus 35 by 40 is equal to 24 plus 35 divided by 40 is equal to 59 by 40 is equal to 119 by 40. Addition of a whole number and a fractional number. Example 1. Add 4 and 3 by 4. 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 4, 3 by 4. Example 2. Add 6 and 12 by 5. 12 by 5 is equal to 2, 2 by 5. 6 plus 12 by 5 is equal to 6 plus 2. 2 by 5 is equal to 8, 2 by 5. Addition of mixed fractional numbers. Adding 3, 1 by 5 and 2, 1 by 10. Find the sum of integral part. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Find the sum of fractional part by converting them to like fractions. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 5 plus 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 and whole divided by 10 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 and whole divided by 10 is equal to 2 plus 1 whole divided by 10 is equal to 3 by 10. Add up the sum of integral part and fractional part. 3 1 by 5 plus 2 1 by 10 is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 5 plus 3 by 10 is equal to 5 3 by 10. Properties of addition of fractions. The fractions can be added in any order. The total remains the same. For example, 2 by 8 plus 5 by 16 is equal to 5 by 16 plus 2 by 8. The addition of 0 and a fraction gives the result as a fraction itself. For example, 0 plus 8 by 10 is equal to 0 by 10 plus 8 by 10 is equal to 0 plus 8 whole divided by 10 is equal to 8 by 10. Three or more fractions can be added in any groups. The sum remains the same. For example, 1 by 3 
plus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 12 is equal to 1 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 12. Subtraction of fractional numbers. Subtraction of like fractions. The process of finding the difference of like fractions is almost the same as finding the sum. Difference of like fractions is equal to difference of numerators by common denominator. For example, find the difference between 9 by 14 and 4 by 14. 9 by 14 minus 4 by 14 is equal to numerator of 9 by 14 minus numerator of 4 by 14 whole divided by common denominator is equal to 9 minus 4 whole divided by 14 is equal to 5 by 14. Subtraction of unlike fractions. The process of subtraction is similar to that of addition. For example, find the difference between 5 by 6 and 7 by 12. Write the sum as given. 5 by 6 minus 7 by 12. Find the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 6 and 12 is 12. Find the difference using above formula and write in simplest form. Difference is equal to 12 divided by 6 multiplied by 5 minus 12 divided by 12 multiplied by 7 whole divided by 12 is equal to 10 minus 7 whole divided by 12 is equal to 3 by 12 is equal to 1 by 4. Subtraction of mixed fractions. For example, by how much is 8, 1 by 6 is less than 10, 5 by 12. Write the sum as given, 10, 5 by 12 minus 8, 1 by 6. Change the mixed fractions into improper fractions. 125 by 12 minus 4 by 6. Find the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 12 and 6 is 12. Now, find the difference of the two fractions. Difference is equal to 125 multiplied by 12 divided by 12 minus 49 multiplied by 12 divided by 6 and whole divided by 12 is equal to 125 multiplied by 1 minus 49 multiplied by 2 whole divided by 12 is equal to 125 minus 98 by 12 is equal to 27 by 12 is equal to 9 by 4 is equal to 2 1 by 4. Properties of subtraction of fractions. A fraction does not change if 0 is subtracted from the fraction. For example, 6 by 13 minus 0 is equal to 6 by 13 minus 0 by 13 is equal to 6 minus 0 whole by 13 is equal to 6 by 13. A fraction when subtracted from itself gives 0. For example, 8 by 16 minus 8 by 16 is equal to 8 minus 8 whole divided by 16 is equal to 0 by 16 is equal to 0. Mixed sums. Example. Simplify. 15 by 23 minus 21 by 23 plus 18 by 23. Solution. 15 by 23 minus 21 by 23 plus 18 by 23 is equal to 15 minus 21 plus 18 by 23 is equal to 15 plus 18 minus 21 by 23 is equal to 33 minus 21 by 23 is equal to 12 by 23. Example. Subtract the difference of 3 by 4 and 1 by 8 from 3 1 by 2. Solution. Step 1. Write the sum as given. Step 2. Find the LCM of the fractions to be subtracted. Step 3. Find the equivalent fractions with denominators equal to their LCM. Step 4. Subtract the numerator. Step 5. Subtract the difference from the given number. Step 6. The process of subtraction is repeated by changing the mixed number to improper fraction. Thus, 3 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 minus 
1 by 8 is equal to 2 7 by 8. Use of fractions in daily life. Example, I bought 2 1 by 2 kilogram potatoes, 1 by 4 kilogram tomatoes and 1 1 by 4 kilogram peas. How much total weight did I carry home? Solution. Total weight is equal to 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 1 by 4. Step 1. Change the mixed fractions into improper fractions. 2 1 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2. 1 1 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4. Step 2. Find the LCM of 2, 4. LCM of 2, 4 is equal to 4. 5 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 5 by 4. Step 3. Change the unlike fractions to like fractions with denominator 4 with the LCM. 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 plus 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 by 4. Step 4. Add the numerators. 10 plus 1 plus 5 by 4 is equal to 16 by 4 is equal to 4 kilogram. So, 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 1 by 4 is equal to 4 kilogram.